morning. Join me on the morning show. Look forward to having this conversation with you tomorrow, Friday. We have an opportunity meeting at 11 o'clock. You don't want to miss this. Here's a preview. Reach for more. Rod Nova. everyone I just happened to pick up this beautiful magazine Definors 50 and I put put up this page it says reach for more Rod Norwell and I started reading I said how in the world do you reach for more and there was a handsome man on the cover of the magazine and I said wow this is my partner everyone right here <laughs> uh, welcome everybody last night we had a great uh experience so to say you gotta you gotta have more great experiences but right something happened right before i get to our event with like you said live event and that was i got a call from a gentleman from alabama on my phone somebody called me hello Mr. Gilani, this is Alvin from Alabama. How are you today? <laughs> the man took personal initiative to call me. That's what prompted this call this morning to call everyone to take personal initiative. If we don't talk about it, we don't do it. It's not in our consciousness. When you talk about it, when you verbalize it, when you bring it to the surface, it creates miracles. Now, the question is how to take personal initiative and in what direction do I take personal initiative and what's my next action step? My brother, Alvin, everyone that is here, we've all been in networks, we've all been in people, places where they have goals, they have a structure, they tell you that's the next step you do, this is what you got to do to get to the next level, this this is in the world of network marketing, like Rod used to call it. I don't like uh, network marketing. This is connections. These are effortless connections. We're all family here. We've learned something we want to impart to our community. And if nothing happens, all the knowledge in the world, all the philosophy from Rumi to, you know, Obama will not help you unless and until you take personal initiative. Alvin did that yesterday. He's here today. They say a big shot is a small shot that keeps shooting. You heard about this. Let me repeat that. A big shot is a small shot that keeps shooting. How do you shoot? You keep on showing up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited about this opportunity about this community about the people that are, it energizes me i'm eternally grateful for rod norval to putting this together because it, i have a place to go to i belong here alvin yesterday i met amanda man you should see her eyes light up she's like a firecracker we're gonna have on the stage she's gonna blow it up she was so powerful she made me cry twice almost cry. I mean, tears came down and I had to wipe them before anybody sees, but it was a powerful woman. <laughs> and same with Maria. We, we had a bonding session. You need to get in people that you have this weekend, bond with them. If you don't have anywhere to bond, the next action step would be 
this opportunity meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Toronto time with Full Circle Community where we showcase a unique business opportunity. And I wanna hear your business opportunity. I wanna hear your proposal. I wanna hear your plan. I wanna see your team. You know, I have a lot of people who says, listen, uh, Arif, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Let's make a million dollars. If somebody told you that they wanna make a million dollars, what's the first thing that you would look at? What would you assess? What's your pers first personal initiative action step? It is, Alvin, somebody the call plan. to, huh? The plan, what's the plan? What's the plan? Even before, Alvin, I get to the plan, I would take the person, take the resume like the judge did, you know, the High Court of Canada, I worked with them last three months, there was four candidates. He said, everybody send me resume because I wanna know you. What have you accomplished in the last few years? Well, let alone the competition was thrown out of the courthouse, but I got it because he trusted me. He said, this guy came to Canada with $64. Well, it doesn't say in my resume with $64, but he got to work with Canadian Tire, FedEx Corporation, Fortune 500 companies, Prime America, and then started his own company and has written books. I choose this guy. So before you analyze the plan, you analyze the person. Do they have the capacity? Do they have the mental preparation? Do they have the team in place? Do they have the plan in place, right, Alvin? That's right. Your plan, your team, and your character all counts in your success. In the past, in network marketing, in any business, if you haven't made it because this picture hasn't been clear, that everything is based on those three things that you will build the foundation for. Your plan is your goals. Clear, concise, exactly. I wanna see what Alvin sees himself in, let's say not three years, let's not go too far, but in the next 12 months, I can imagine, I can visualize, I can visualize in my mind what Alvin looks like on the stage in front of five, 10,000 people. Why? Because he's taking personal initiative to take some of this knowledge that Rod, I, Amanda, everybody, and look at how many people I have to learn. Man, yesterday I didn't take my notebook. I was scrambling to, to write notes in my head. You know what I mean? But I did because my mind is primed to take personal initiative every single day. Just say that. My mind is primed to take personal initiative every day. My mind is primed. I'm ready. I was prepared. I was built to do this. I was built for greatness. I was built for leadership. I was built for awakening. The lady, Annie, Last night we met Annie. Annie is a spiritual healer and she was the, vi the voice. You know, the fluctuation of your voice is part of your, your personal initiative. How, to, how you interact with somebody. Sometimes Rod is so overexcited. Tell him to cool down, to calm down, to relax. Let's, let's, let's. Remember Annie's techniques? 3D. <laughs> and then you bring the energy of the universe into your heart, right? And I'm practice, I'm gonna start practicing this. And then you spread it all over the world. Just like she said, how easy is this look here? Uh, you just do this 10 times, you've made the best mind prep that you can ever have, ladies and gentlemen. It's not too hard, you could do it in your chair like where you're sitting right now. Just imagination, we're gonna talk about the six, Faculties of creation, which is imagination, is one of them. Personal initiative is one of the chapters in the book. And I and I totally, totally believe that no matter how much knowledge, libraries are full of knowledge, the internet is incredible. You can find all the information you need to succeed. Okay? What makes and separates the 1% from the rest based on 30 years of studying, interviewing hundreds and Thousands of people who have achieved, who have lots of abundance in their lives. They take personal initiative. 
Amanda, when you go to that school, you take those kids, you have that shawl, you have that dress, you have that thing, and you're glowing with light in your eyes and a big smile on your face. People are going to be attracted to you. Hey, what's up? They're just going to come and talk to you. And then you take personal initiative and you don't have to get their number and you don't have to do anything. You just have to be consistent in your personal initiative. Maria, consistency of smiles will create more smiles. So I'm expecting everybody that I see here to have a smile. Why? That's the first step to personal initiative to anything. Your smile is your logo. It's your, I, I you know, I have a hard time sitting down somewhere and just feeling like, I don't know how to feel. My, my, my face doesn't hold the expression of of depression or down or anything like that. My face is gonna be like that, right? Thank you for the prompt. Opportunity is very, very short unless you take a personal initiative. You interrupt the opportunity, okay? Because the one you don't catch, somebody else is going to catch. We're going to find some people in the USA. And we're going to have a big, huge warehouse right here in Niagara Falls. And we're just going to cross it over the bridge and ship it to Alabama or wherever it is. Okay? That's just one opportunity. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Alvin. And I, and I want everybody that comes and watches to request a copy of this assessment. This is your first step to your, your personal initiative. This is where we started with my colleagues at when we started the Gilani Leadership Academy. First is, what is your interest? You tend to take personal initiative in the direction of your interest. Does that make sense? If you don't like something, you're not going to be very prompted to take personal initiative. If you love something, it becomes automated in your body. Right. That just uh, reminded me of one of the points. Um, Ryan Blair, 50 principles. I don't know which number it is. Maria's better than me with knowing the numbers off by heart. But he has one principle. It says, do what you love because your soul knows. And I think about, Marie, the fact that every uh, Friday you're going to be opening up opportunity like uh kind of creating your own little shark tank uh, but we're gonna call it a dolphin tank because dolphins are more love yeah <laughs> and on a reef dolphin tank i believe we're gonna meet some incredible people that have vision but no one you know they have you know they have vision but they can't tell their friends because their friends will laugh at them uh, amanda was telling me a story she was with a friend just this week and you know how she's now stepping into this identity. She's studying Eric Thomas. She's saying, I'm the number one female motivational speaker in the world. She says that to us. But Arif, I don't know if she told you. She told me she couldn't say it to her friend. And I actually said it's probably a good thing right now. Like right, just right now, there will be a time you will step into that. But Arif, right now, when I'm listening to you, you create a safe space where people are going to be able to come on a Friday morning share their vision, their vision, their business, their dream, and you'll have no judgment. They'll either be getting a reef as a promoter, business partner, and myself, or they're going to get some nuggets and some insight on here's what you might want to consider with that business idea of yours. They're going to leave with value by 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on the Full Circle Podcast. Breakfast Club opportunities. Read back to you. See, um, we all have deep inside our our hearts a burning desire. That burning desire helps us take personal initiative. Tomorrow at eleven o'clock, some people are going to encounter the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, in five years, in ten years, you got to have a long-term vision. Okay. But you got to be very, very, very impatient with your activity in the day as you take personal initiative. Okay, we got the vision. It's clear. It's right here. I had to take personal initiative this morning to call Turkey and tell my Turkey, I mean, in Istanbul, right? Tell my partner there, are you going to be on the Zoom call? Or he says, I'm going to a, 
uh, a wedding uncle i don't know i'm gonna be on the road but i'll try to be on it it's wedding time and it's a he's my nephew he's my partner i've raised this kid from this much he was born in sweden onto a big handsome man and he's doing amazing things and i want him to be on and i want my partners in mongolia to be uh, let let them know you i want to introduce them to rod i have to take personal initiative because you gotta live every day like you're gonna die tomorrow but you gotta plant like you're gonna live forever okay right yeah just on this personal initiative point um it's interesting last night getting to watch you i mean i've worked with you but we worked in a different environment we were selling people on believing in themselves that they could get a license with the government and then have the confidence to go speak to their friends and family about money and finances when they probably didn't have any money or finances. A very, very tough, tough ask. But last night I got to watch you, Arif, and I really want to kind of see with Maria and Amanda. They both took personal initiative to get there. Maria works all day on her feet, as you know, doing, doing hair creations, I call them. For her to decide, I'm going to go to an event. After all these years when we didn't do events, Amanda had to make, obviously, the whole world move with daycare and children being watched. But they both showed up there powerfully. And Arif, when I was talking to Amanda on the way uh, driving after the event, I was like, if we didn't go to that event last night, we wouldn't have known what we missed. That Those participants that were there wouldn't have known what the difference would have been because we wouldn't have been there. But look at all the magic that happened because we went. We took personal initiative. We only found out yesterday from Dr. Mike about an event. And we were like, Arif's like, we're going. But Arif didn't just go. Arif showed up with a camera crew. He showed up with a suitcase full of love in the, in the form of camel products. I went home with two pairs of new uh, bamboo, I think, underwear, a new scarf. Another pair of socks. I'm so excited. It was like Christmas last night for me. Marie, back to you. Uh, Maria and Amanda, personal initiative yesterday. I just want to acknowledge both of these beautiful women. Arif, back to you. Um, Maria, I appreciate you. You're a wonderful soul and you're a healer and you took personal initiative. Tell me what you learned last night. What was it like for you? It was beautiful. Uh, the bond, the bond, and uh, the fact it was spiritual. So I, I'm all about spirituality and joy and uplifting. And uh, um, I appreciate that. I really did. Um, and back to what you say about being me being there, I almost didn't go. But then something said you have to go, Maria, because you made a commitment with Reap, especially. He's gonna bring a package, and I'm about commitment. When my word is big, when I say I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there, especially in business. It's it's just who I am. I take things to the heart and serious. Um, and I got to know you a bit better last night. You know, Reap, I've seen you what once, twice. This is what was the third time, and um, and I'm looking at you and go, boy, he looks younger in person. Yeah. <laughs> and I like his haircut. <laughs> you, you know, you're revealing my secrets. I had some surgeries done. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so nice to meet you it takes time to gel it takes time to bond it takes time to build a relationship that's why i'm so excited in celebrating all of these in live events with you ladies and gentlemen i want to see alvin he's so you know he looks so handsome he looks like moses or somebody out there <laughs> with a bald head <laughs> moses with no hair <laughs> But I look forward to uh, bonding with everyone. Amanda, what was your takeaway? You were amazing. You just brought me to tears. I want to see what your takeaway was that you took personal initiative. And you were there and you were giggly and you were smiling. And you told something that touched people. 
Thank you. Thank you, Arif. Uh, good morning, everybody. My, uh, my takeaway from last night, I have so many. Um, I have, if I can just choose one, uh, gratitude. Again, that's a word that came up last night because I used to look up, up to you guys, Arif. I was sitting beside you and I felt like we were at the same level, same with Roderick, same with everybody that was in that room. It was beautiful. What I, what I my takeaway, not just gratitude, but the spirituality and the grounding that I learned that I need to do as much as possible um, throughout 24 hours, 365 days of the year is very important. And if I didn't go there, I wouldn't have made new friends. I made a new friend. Her name is Annie. She's my new accountability partner. And uh, we made a bunch of friends last night. It was beautiful. The energy was great. We spoke our truth which is important and uh this yeah i'm just grateful thank you so much and i am complete with that oh my gosh Arif. she prompted amanda just said i made some friends last night and it, it's the first time it's triggered back my memory all the days us we remember we used to say okay we're gonna go in on a prospecting blitz we're going to the mall and we're going friendship farming i used to say that we're going right back and amanda you remember we're gonna go friendship farming You've got one hour, whoever gets the most names and numbers, we're gonna do something special for you, special for recognition. You're gonna come up to the front of the room, you're gonna have five minutes to say who you are, where you're from, what's your story, and what did you do? Arif, we used to recognize people for taking personal initiative. And I just realizing it now, you put it in a book, you're teaching people around the world. Arif, I'm so excited to be working with you again. And I know there's a lot of people going to see us work together and be like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Arif and Rod are working together? Oh, boy. Here we go. Arif, back to you. All right. It's, uh, it's exciting when you have some past history, you have some connection from the previous uh, relationship that you have, and our relationship is getting deeper and deeper. Our Business collaboration is expanding. Our organization is coming together. Our courses are fine tuning. We're finding the right people. We're so blessed to be here. Amanda said it. So grateful. Because our intentions are pure. Because we love what we do. Because we take action and personal initiative every day. And we network with great people like Alvin, Amanda, Maria, Rod, and everyone in this world. And we know every single one of them can create miracles. That's if they right. take personal initiative. Now I'm a coach. I'm not a pastor, minister. I, I like Rod says. This is the action step for everybody that we learned from Annie yesterday. I want to take a piece of two by two, whatever it is, three by four, whatever. You write down three action steps that you want to accomplish in exactly 30 days. This is what Rod's talking about. Mine is in Dr. Mike's hand. No, in Amanda's hand. Oh my gosh, she's my accountability. I got some big giant <laughs> stuff on there. I almost did. You know what? The gentleman there, Jesu, Jesu was... Uh, Negus, Negus, Negus. Negus, Negus was there. And he told you, Rod, something. Yeah. So when you were confessing, you had something holding you back. And when she said, write the three, I said, should I hold it back or should I just pour it on? And Amanda knows what I'm pouring it on. I'm pouring some fire on the gasoline on the fire. It's going to be, oh my God. <laughs> I exposed myself. Why? Because I want her to hold me accountable to take personal initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, everything that you want is within your reach. If you take personal initiative. With that, Rod, I'm complete. This is Thursday. September 28th. And I want to invite everybody to Recording tomorrow. Progress. Sorry. Tomorrow, Friday, we have a wonderful session where you can come and connect and invite other people like me, like Rod, like Alvin, like Amanda, like Maria, who have business ideas, don't have anywhere to go, don't have enough money to promote it, don't have, don't have a home. We want to create you a home entrepreneurs. We want to talk to you about business. 
We want to talk about life. We want to talk about spirituality. We want to talk about kids. We want to talk about personal relationships. We want to talk about love. We want to talk about everything that's on your mind. I mean, what occupies your mind besides your goals? Let's clarify your goals tomorrow, Friday, 29th of September of 2023. With that, I'm complete, Rod. Back to you, my friend. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you.